Di da 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 di da 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 di di da da dum dum da da dum di da da dum di da 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 di da 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 dum da da bum 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 da da bum bum bum. And uh, and hello and welcome. There there was my Game of Thrones sort of beginning. I only had one of the models. I and it's not even from Game of Thrones actually. Hello and welcome to this, the very first episode of The Campaign Creator. Now, 2019, we said we we're going to give you some new things. Well, we will be saying that in the future because it hasn't yet got there. This video launches the day before uh, New Year's. So for those of you who are going to go and celebrate, I wish you the happiest and happiest of New Year's. I hope your 2018 was as fantastic as mine was and that your 2019 promises to be even better. I certainly hope that it promises that you have as many role-playing experiences, if not more, um, because, well, ultimately that's why we're here on the channel, isn't it? Oh dear, there we go. Anyway, so we are launching Campaign Creator. Now, Campaign Creator has been trialled, I suppose you could say, over the last couple of months on the channel. We've had special events. We've had videos sort of creating a campaign type of thing. Um, and what it is, Campaign Creator is going to be something that is a structured approach to creating a campaign with the tools and it's going to happen monthly. Now that is because I want you to follow along with me as we create the campaign. So this is, if you like, the opportunity for you to grab your note paper, to sit and watch these videos going, yes, okay, that's a good idea, I'm gonna add that in. So I want you to engage as much as you can so that by the end of it, and we're talking a one year process here, by the end of it, you've got a campaign. That's not to say that you have to take the full year. All I'm doing is I'm saying we're going to take a week at a time to explore aspects and elements of your campaign in a structured way so that you can start playing in the world after the first month. There's no reason why you can't after the first second month, after the third month, after the first fourth month. Uh, if, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. After the fourth month, you will have a campaign that you can play in. But after a year, we're going to have a complete space. So we're going to be looking at structures, tools, and monthly. Now, what does that mean? Let's unpack those, um, as I am I, I like to do. So structurally, what are we going to do? So we're going to have weekly projects. Now, the weekly projects are exercises and when it's we're not we're not saying oh thou shalt write 10,000 words upon the history of your world <laughs> I'll never say that 10,000 words is not nearly enough we will s unpack we will talk we will discuss we will debate we will look at each week something that you should think about adding to your world whether it is a timeline or a historical event or a battle sequence or an npc we're going to go through that and you're going to have a whole week within which to do that now we are going to look at how you can do these and where you can save these things so you can kind of keep track of them uh, later on but the idea is that each week we will look at a specific aspect and we will focus on that area i will discuss it i'll unpack it i will give you some thoughts some inspiration perhaps some tips or, or hints on how I'm going to go about solving that same project question myself. We're going to pose challenges. So yes, your initial instinct when we are talking about creating a new monster is to refer to the monster's manual perhaps, or it's to make a space-born uh, flying jellyfish. The challenges are going to be changing that perception, hopefully for you. And we're going to keep progress. We're going to look at how do we move forward? How are we moving forward? How are we keeping up with the challenges? How are we remaining true to what we're doing? And again, it's not about overloading. This is not homework. This is joint work. We're going to work together during the video. So just by watching the video, you should, by the end of the video, have had an opportunity to have created stuff. So it's maximizing your time. Something that we uh, really, really like to do uh, in, in modern Earth society, I suppose. So that's the structure of it. We're going to work through that. And of course, in the next episode, we're going to look at where do we start in terms of campaign creation. But um, that's for next week. 
tools. What tools are we going to use? Obviously, we're going to be using World Anvil. We're going to be using Dungeon Fog. We're going to use Photoshop or an image editor. We are going to use various web apps as we discover these tools. There are so many out there, and everyone's got their favorites. And obviously, for this channel, World Anvil is our favorite. It's our go-to world creator. But it's not the only world creator out there. We're going to be looking at it in terms of how is it going to help us create our campaign better? What is it offering us that we can use to do that? Dungeon Fog, Map Creator. What are we going to be doing with Dungeon Fog in our campaigns? Do we need those maps and things? That's a good question to ask. If we do, we're going to be using Dungeon Fog. Why? Both of these are free to use. That's the important thing. You can buy subscriptions to them, absolutely. And periodically, we do give out discounts on them here on the channel because of our affiliation with those two uh, companies. But that's not the point. The point is, how do we create a campaign? And these happen to be the two tools that we're going to be using. Photoshop, of course, is an expensive product. If you don't have Photoshop, there are plenty of image ed ed editors out there. Image editors. It says editor. Now. Why specifically do we need an in the in, oh wow why do we specifically need an image editor we need image editors because we're going to be adding stuff this is not just about creating a campaign that's static and and fairly mundane and it's just text on blank paper it's about creating an experience for you as a creator. So we're going to look at some of those things. And then various web apps. There's so many apps out there that we can use for city generation, that we can use for world gen I mean, we can just go mad, and we're going to go mad. We're going to explore those uh, during the show as well. So we're going to give you all of these tools. You're going to look at these tools and say, OK, great. I need to have this tool for this week, or et cetera, et cetera. And then we might not use any of these tools for some of the weeks. It might be this is purely, purely an exercise in X or in Y. So those are some of the tools that we're going to be using as we go through Campaign Creator. Now, monthly, we said that we were going to look at things, and this was the comprehensive list. I'm going to get all the way out of the way here. I'm going to try and get out of the way. We're going to look at doing things over three months, six months, nine months, and then finished on the 12th month. So by this time, 2020, you should have a complete campaign, something that you are proud of, that you have created, and these are some of the things we're going to look at the world, we're going to look at settings, we're going to look at plots, we're going to look at details, values, histories, the first steps into that world. How do you use that world moving forward? And then finally, when it's finished, how do you then release that world out there? If it's something that I have learned from Japan, having lived here, all of the role playing games that they run. They catalogue and then they turn into novels. And then those novels sit on shelves in role-playing stores all across the country for everybody else to enjoy. So we're going to look at how do we take those steps as well in terms of releasing it out there so that others can enjoy the creation that you have brought into being. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful 2019, I think, anyway, from, from, from my perspective. By the end of it, we're going to have this amazing campaign. I can't think of a better... 2020 start really than having this amazing world that we can plan now of course this is a rough sort of timeline we will be doing micro sort of events that happen throughout this period and that will allow us to to really focus so this week we're looking specifically at the first adventure how do we work the first adventure into the world that we've already started to make but it's not yet finished how do we do that and how do we use that as a tool to make the world better before we go even further so all of that is going to be coming up as we work through Campaign Creator. And I hope that you are going to join me on that journey as we, as we basically create something out of nothing. Until next time, I want you to, well, think of a catchphrase. I need a sign off. I need something, uh, something, something, something catchy like um, happy creating. Although I, I, I don't know about that one. Anyway, comments below. Let us know. What do you think about Campaign Creator? Are you ready for it? Or do you want it? Are you, are you passionate about it? Are you going to get it? Is it for you? Is it something that just makes you want to sing and dance and hug your little, you know, pony and go, yes, 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 yes. Yes! Is it? If so, hit the like button uh, or the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on any episodes. And you can always smack that goblin bell and then you'll know when more of them are coming up. You can see I'm quite excited. Till next time, goodbye.